Whoops. There we go. I don't know what in the world just happened. Uh, but yeah, this week in indoor football, we are at the end of May. And yet again, yet again, <laughs> yet again, another AFL team folded. Uh, the Rapid City Marshals sent replacement players to Washington. They folded after that, you know. The Johnsons were like, yeah, we can't keep up anymore. Uh, the AFL kind of burned us and everything like that, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, honestly, this was to be completely expected with the way things have been happening the past few weeks. With, with the AFL, things happened. So, yeah, they sent a bunch of replacement players to Washington. They got beat up. Um, the other games were pretty interesting. Salina beating Wichita, Orlando beating Nashville, and Cedar Rapids. Yes, the Cedar Rapids River Kings went to Southwest Kansas. Oregon did not want to go to Southwest Kansas, so Southwest Kansas got a forfeit win there. But to add insult to injury, another win for Southwest Kansas as well. Um, and yeah. You know, just a comedic sequence of events. How in the world did C Rapids come up there? But it was first going to be Rapid City, but again, Rapid City folded, or then it was going to be Oregon. And Oregon folded, they gave Billings a bye week. So, yeah, things were not completely solved over the past, you know, couple of weeks and everything. Um, you know, obviously, Jeff Fisher, you know, and company are new to this whole shindig. Of running the AFL, but yeah, replacement players being played, you know, instead of you know actual, instead of actually you know you know paying players and or you know making sure things went okay to where you know things are like oh yeah we 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 can make it through the season and everything like that. No, nah, no, nah, that did not happen at all. That did not happen at all. Um, so, yeah, Cedar Rapids coming in, you know, again, keep in mind, Cedar Rapids is not a part of the AF right now. They might be the next year, but that depends on Don Montero. You know, it depends on him, man. It depends on him, you know. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Between that and the West Texas Albany ending, that was crazy. You know, 11 points in 11 seconds, including a four point play. You know, a pay, take it from the CIF's old rule book, by the way. You know, CIF had a four point play in 2023. So, yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. Right? Right? Um,. Let's go. Let's go to the. Do you even do we even need to talk about the AF right now? Again, the championship has already been set. You know, you know the AF said, "No, nah, we're not going to do you know no playoffs or anything. We're just going to have these two teams in Columbus and Corpus Christi play." Columbus is five and zero, oh, uh, beating the breaks off of the Harrisburg Stampede. You know who did not. Send the actual team there. The, the, the director of player personnel said, no, we're not going down to Columbus. We're going to get some guys from Atlanta to play, which is insane. Insane thinking. I, You know, this is why you don't do stupid things like making, you know, making your playoff only two teams by, you know, just having the owner say, all right, we're just going to make our playoffs two teams and everything like that. And everything's going to be okay. Yeah, it was not okay. I think this is the first shutout of the year. 83 to nothing. I think this is the first shutout of the year. Um, the TAL, the Arena League, Tim Brown's League. Duluth did not get to play the Dallas Falcons. Dallas Falcons obviously didn't want to travel up there, so they played another team called Up One Athletics. And Duluth beat the brakes off of them 86 34. On the other hand, absolutely hilarious that the Minnesota Warriors <laughs> beat the Iowa Woo. You have Mook Zimmerman coaching this team. It's hilarious. How we get our we get our semi pro over you know pro team win of the year we get we get one yay we get one isn't that exciting y'all 
that's that's just hilarious. And I mean, the, the thing is, the the six on six stuff actually looked pretty decent. You know, from highlights that I saw and everything like that, everything looked pretty decent. So yeah, the TAL begins in earnest next Saturday night on the NAL. Carolina getting closer and closer to the NAL championship by beating Colorado by 14. And then Sioux City beat Idaho in a game that was very competitive. So, yeah, the, the race to play Omaha in the NAL championship is going to come down to the last two weeks of the season. Omaha plays Carolina and in the final in, in the final week of the season and next week and, and then the, the, the week before that which will be next week it'll be Sioux City Carolina Carol and again this is by winning percentage and everything like that so we will see how this goes this one AAL2 score that I forgot about um Steel City beat Maryland 34 30 um the A AAL2 is off this week they did not play any games this week so there's that um, the uh, so the NAL championship is going to come down to either it'll either be Omaha versus Sioux City Part Three or Omaha versus Carolina. Pick your poison. The EIF championship, the Carolina Predators beat the Southern Steam. Who cares? To be quite frank, they moved the stadium too. They moved it to like another indoor facility anyway. So that that was something. Um, Green Bay, let's talk the IFL a little bit. Green Bay still looking real good, 54-40 over Iowa. Frisco just beat San Diego in a game that just ended off of a special teams touchdown return by McConnell. You know, Harrington had to play as quarterback Nate Davis, you know, has been kind of iffy on the season, but he played his best. It's just been special teams for San Diego. Tulsa, Massachusetts was a dogfight, absolutely ugly game, 23-22 mass. Arizona still has not lost to Duke City, 55-53. Northern Arizona and Tucson in a dogfight, um, but the Wranglers got the win there. And the Bay Area is very impressive. Kept Sam Castronova under control, you know, 42-31 there. And then you have... Last but not least, the um, the Midwest Arena Football League. It's the the one team that you have to keep an eye on is a team that's been around the Indianapolis Forces. We'll see if that league you know plays because it's a fall league, and we don't really talk about fall leagues here. So you know, fall leagues do not count. This is a this is a spring and summer sport, y'all. This is not this is not fit for you know the fall when everything else is going on. So. Uh, that's the only thing there, you know, that, that's really important about that league. I do not care about that league at all. We're not even going to talk about it again after this. Um, it's probably, you know, another scam league, you know, but who cares about all that? So, yeah, that's it from this week. Um, I think the most, I think the hilarious thing is, is that C reference has played an NAL team. They played semi-pro teams. They played AIF teams. Now they played an AFL team, and who knows what the schedule is going to look like now, you know, there's three games confirmed for the AFL next week. And I don't even know how in the world, I don't even know how in the world things are going to go, man, because, you know, the way things are going, teams are, there, there's, there may be only eight teams left at the end of the season. I think that's the best part about this thing. Maybe potentially, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. This this just I don't know, man. I don't. You know what? It, it's 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 it's. I don't even know at this point, man. You know, I thought things were going to be a little bit better, you know, but turns out, you know, things, more things change, the more they stay the same. You get one of me for AFL 3.0. So we still got a few weeks to go. We got all of June and then a little bit of July, and then we, we can stop talking about the AFL 3.0 for a little while, 
hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. But anyway, come back here tomorrow. Let's talk some lacrosse tomorrow afternoon after the national championship between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Maryland Terrapins. That one is going to be fun. So can't wait to talk to you about the NL finals, um, you know, summer box lacks in Canada, PLL stuff. I mean, it's just going to be fun. It's just going to be a fun time tomorrow. So I'll catch you about 2.30, 3 o'clock, and I'll see you then. But until next Sunday night, uh, I'm going to get on about it here, and, and you know, you'll see a different thumbnail this week from the TAL. So that's good. Isn't that right? <laughs>